black culture doesn't live in a vacuum and i feel like that's something that we understand more now today than ever but i've started reading this book it's called the black atlantic by a scholar in the uk his name was paul gilroy and he's basically had this theory talking about how black culture has sort of formed the way it has globally because of the exchange of information and the exchange of like just the connections between different parts of the world whether it be africa america west indies europe like he gives a lot of examples from trinidad the uk and america and how they they relate so when i look into like to the history of a lot of music specifically and people are arguing over where things originated and where things came from it really in my mind like it's cool to like put like timestamps on things like oh this is where this was first seen or this was the first person who was like coined with doing a specific thing like when we see reggaeton being a billion dollar industry now and i go back and look and like oh it started from jamaicans moving to panama and then growing up there and then playing reggae and dance hall music there and spinning it into spanish and making spanish reggae and that's where it started that's just interesting to me just to see the the lines connected between the two right like oh panama which is a spanish-speaking country related to jamaica which is west indian caribbean and you know what i mean and like just to see those connected dots is a lot more interesting to me than just to say oh no puerto rico originated something or panama originated something like to me it really doesn't matter because i'm not from any of these places i didn't originate any of these things so when people are arguing it it's like it's not that big deal to me. I think being able to identify those lines and seeing those connections allows you to just get better at pattern recognition. That's how I see it. Like, oh, okay, so when you look forward and see what things could potentially be, where things could potentially intersect, like a lot of things make more sense. Like you see why certain artists blow up. You see why certain artists are popular because everything's sort of just pattern recognition. We've seen a lot of things before. People just emulate what they already know. It's cool to me to see Burner Boy take in dance hall influences or hear WizKids say like, oh, Bob Marley had a big effect on my life. Or hear Burner Boy say like, oh, I listened to a lot of DMX growing up. Like that just makes sense in the way he talks and the way he sings, the way he raps. Like it's really dope to see those things. You know, like black culture doesn't live in a vacuum. Like we all take from each other. And I think that's the best thing about it. And I think that's the thing we should look out for. So with this brand, I'm trying to, show those lines connected and help people like look back and really understand like where a lot of things started and originated and just help people like open their eyes to new music that they may not have heard of or music that they might have heard of and really didn't dive into i'm trying to help people like really learn about those things globally